Amusement rides are incredibly safe. You're probably aware that ride accidents are quite rare despite how they're often portrayed in the media and on social media. But truly, how rare are ride accidents? IAPA, or the International Association for Amusement Parks and Attractions, began investigating the probability of injury on amusement rides in 2003 and has done so every year since. Today, we're uncovering their findings from 2023 covering fixed-site amusement rides in North America, Europe, the Middle East, and Africa, as well as covering their data on water parks in North America, to uncover just what these statistics really mean. Before we dive into their findings, it's important to recognize some of the flaws with the data in these studies. IAPA collected their data by contacting most parks that had attractions that fit into the survey's categories. These parks were invited to participate in a survey and self-report. By self-reporting, the chance of discrepancy increases because parks can filter the data if they choose to, though importantly, parks were not asked to provide specific details about the accidents, increasing the likelihood that they would self-report accurately. IAPA used this same data collection method for every report we'll cover today. In 2023, IAPA sent out a survey to 300 parks and received 218 responses, which is up from 149 in 2022 in North America. Based on the responses from 2023, North America saw an increase in the number of ride accidents, with almost 1,400 reported ride-related injuries. This is understandable, with 2023 also seeing ridership and the number of responses increase proportionally. However, only 8% or a little over 100 were considered serious injuries. IAPA defines a serious injury as one that results in hospitalization for over 24 hours or death. The number of serious injuries dropped significantly from 2022 and 2021, which each saw nearly 200 serious injuries. 2023 saw a significant increase though in reportable injuries. IAPA defines these injuries as ones that require medical treatment outside of standard first aid, but not for more than 24 hours. IAPA places rides into three different categories, these being children's rides, roller coasters, and family rides. Children's rides are defined as smaller rides that are meant for use by children up to 12 years old. It should be noted that rides should be placed into the children's rides category even if they can be classified as another ride type if the ride is designed for children up to 12 years old. For example, a kiddie roller coaster is considered a children's ride and not a roller coaster by this definition. Roller coasters have a different definition defined by their motion being fixed on an elevated railway. Family rides encompass the remaining rides in between these two definitions. While roller coasters often get the media attention for ride accidents, the most dangerous rides statistically are family rides. Family rides make up for over 50% of all ride injuries in each reporting year from 2019 to 2023 in North America. Roller coasters come in second, being responsible for around one-third of ride-related injuries during this same time period. So how likely are you to be injured on a ride? The statistical answer is less than one in a million. IAPA recorded one injury for every 1.4 million rides given. The odds of being seriously injured are even lower, sitting at around one injury for every 16.5 million rides given. Unfortunately, the number of serious injuries has been trending upward despite a decline in 2023. However, even in 2022, when serious injury rates were higher, the chances of being seriously injured were around 1 in 7 million in North America. So how do these statistics compare outside of North America? IAPA completed a similar study in Europe, Africa, and the Middle East. They receive responses from 116 attractions. Response rate is lower for this region, and so the data may be flawed. Their findings are similar though to North America's, with an increase in the number of injuries from 630 in 2022 to 911 in 2023. Despite the number of injuries increasing, the number of serious injuries decreased by 6%. Other results were more similar to North America, with family rides still being the most injury-prone ride types, making up for half of the total reported injuries. One key difference when compared to North America is that the number of injuries on children's rides is higher at 26% compared to 10%. Roller coaster related injuries are slightly lower than North America at 26% compared to 31%. Overall, your chances of being injured are still low, similar to North America, with about one injury for every 1.4 million riders. 
Serious injuries are even less common than in North America, with one serious injury for every 20 million riders. The worst year in this region for serious ride injuries was in 2020, with one injury for every 6.25 million riders, mostly due to lower overall ridership. Keep in mind that these statistics are only for fixed-site amusement parks and theme parks in both regions. No such survey exists for traveling rides at this time. It also should be noted that with an overall small amount of injuries being reported for all regions, small increases in these numbers lead to large percentage increases and likelihood increases. It's clear amusement rides are overwhelmingly safe, but what is the cause of these injuries most often? The answer has less to do with the rides themselves and more with the guests. Guest behavior played a role in 90% of injuries in North America, and according to the report, every ride injury in Europe, Africa, and the Middle East in 2023, again as reported by the parks. IAPA defines guest behavior as behavior that does not conform to the rules. In Europe, Africa, and the Middle East, guest behavior was the entire cause for 60% of the injuries, and again, played a role in all of the injuries. Many of the example situations involved guests entering a restricted ride area, carrying loose articles, or guests not paying attention to their surroundings. Some examples of this involved a guest opening their restraint on a wave swinger and attempting to leave while the ride was still descending. Another involved a bumper car ride where a rider extended their limbs outside of the car during operation. While ride injuries are still caused by mechanical failure, it is far less likely. You often hear about injuries caused by mechanical failure in the news, and it is because they are so rare. Mechanical issues accounted for only 12% of overall ride injuries in North America and 25% of injuries in Europe, the Middle East, and Africa. But how safe are water slides and water parks? In general, water parks are less safe than traditional amusement parks due to inherent unavoidable risks present at these facilities. IAPA received 89 responses in their North American survey and found that there were 911 injuries, with 35 of them considered serious. Injuries on water slides have been trending upwards each year since COVID in 2020. Most recently, in 2023, the injury rate was 3.08 injuries for every 1 million riders. This injury rate is about 4.5 times higher than the reported injury rate for amusement rides. Similarly, higher serious injury rates were reported, with the water slide rate being double the amusement ride rate, with one serious injury for every 8.3 million riders compared to about 1 in 16.5 million riders on traditional rides. These higher injury rates could be the result of a smaller sample size. IAPA even notes this on the study that the serious injuries occur infrequently and such a small number results in a lot of data volatility. The cause of these injuries once again ties back to guest behavior having an influence in 94% of all injuries. Operational issues followed guest behavior, with technical issues once again being the least likely cause of injury. Although water slide injuries are more common than amusement ride injuries, they're still very rare compared to overall ridership. I hope this video helped put into context just how rare it is to be injured on an amusement ride or water slide. If injuries were as frequent on amusement rides as they are in vehicles, ride accidents would never even make it into the news cycle. Amusement rides are very safe and only becoming safer. Many new rides are designed to minimize the risks of guest behavior and operational issues, and ride design will continue to move in that direction. If you've learned something new, please consider giving this video a like so it appears above others in the YouTube algorithm. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel or viewing one of my other videos about ride safety. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.